Thank you. Hey guys, good to be back. Stay with me through that video. You're gonna see it will be one of the most simple video about technical analysis and it will provide you many information and also it will help you a lot to figure out where Bitcoin is right now and what's next. And we will go a little bit deeper inside the chart. Don't worry here. You need to know that we are inside a cycle wave four retracement for Bitcoin. We uh, created a new IRI on the RSI wave three. I have no doubt about this. And yes, we can uh, finish with a truncated wave five, but this is not my point. The most probable target for a retracement of wave four are here in front of you. 15% in between the 0 0.236 and 0 0.3, 60% probability in that zone between the 0 0.3 and the 0 0.5, and only 15% chance in between the 0 0.5 and the 0 0.618, which is the golden fib. Do the market makers are targeting the liquidity on this uh, golden fib? Yes, it is possible. We will see what happened on my chart right now. This is what I see. And we always keep a 10% to grab some, you know, orders under the golden fib in case they will send a wick. All right. Hope you understand. This is a pretty simple. And also let's go to, uh, in, uh, let's dive inside the chart to, uh, you know, this way I will be able to provide you uh, a very nice overview right here gonna make a copy of this all right we are ready to go let's zoom out okay inside a wave four that i just show you this wave four right here last up was 64.8k okay you see 64.5k here okay because i'm on another time frame but don't worry Okay, one of the most possible patterns, you know, inside the wave four, you need to know those patterns because, you know, wave four happen everywhere, you know, inside an impulse and wave four is often a flat triangle or a complex combination of a WXY or it can be an ABC it's possible in in zigzag okay you uh, can see that and for me this is what i see right now i see a zigzag retracement for bitcoin right here five impulsive down five impulse down and we were able to confirm the bottom of this a wave okay because of this bullish divergence right here that we add, you know, June 21, because the RSI was not able to uh, create a lower low, but the price did look at the price. The price was able to create a new lower low right here. You know, I know it's messy a little bit, but this is how you can find, you know, uh, bullish divergence. You see this bottom right here and you see that this bottom was uh, higher, but on the RSI, it's the opposite. You have, you know, this lower low here and you're not able, you know, to uh, bring the RSI lower and create a new l lower low like the price. Okay. Very, very simple. Also right now, the things the overall look that you need to understand it that is that we are inside an ABC in zigzag or I have another scenario that I'm not going to share with you, which is a WXY. But right now I want you to focus on the fact that we are inside a B wave. We had just entered inside a B wave because we were we, we were able to found our uh, bottom on this A wave right here. Okay. 
and a B wave inside the zigzag always have four possible targets. The 0 0.382 in purple right here at 42,575. The golden fib, the most favorite Bitcoin B uh, wave retracement at 51,083. We are having the 0 0.764 at 56,346 and the 0 0.854 at 59,590. All right. Those are the most possible target for this B wave. I'm going to take this out, but this is the favorite of Bitcoin. And, uh, you know, I, I can show you many proof of that in the past, uh, you know, in retracement. I've been showing this uh, many, many times, I think, but I'm just going to give you an example right here. Okay. Uh, we want to figure out where, where, where. We want to figure out the 0 0.618. Here, last top of the bull ma market, we had this retracement and we came back and we have been lower. Let's do the math. One click on the top, one click on the retracement. Let's inverse that to figure out where our 0 0.618 a wick was sent on for this B wave. You can see that. And this is this was clearly an A B C. Okay, right there. Very uh very similar of what's going on right now, but you know it's uh it will be not that uh you know will will not be so intense in the retracement because the fibs of a wave four retracement are lighter than uh, uh, the fibs available for a wave two retracement, uh, which which happen during a bear market. Okay, hope you follow me. Hope it is not too complicated. Okay, right here, zigzag ABC in this retracement for me. And every, you need to know that every, every, every B wave retracement is composed with an ABC right here. And this ABC wave, okay, that, uh, you know, happen by figuring out the, uh, this A wave in green, you know, this A wave, if it's five impulsive, an impulse, a complete impulse or an ABC, we are able to figure out, you know, target of B and C. This is how I provide uh, entries and exit for my subscribers and it's working pretty well. Uh, but now the thing is that inside this A wave, I want to know if it's going to be an ABC or an impulse of five wave up. Now we don't know yet, but on what I see, it looks pretty much like it's going to be an ABC, which is telling me that the most probable target, you know, will be the 0 0.9 or the 1.23. Only two target in this C wave will be available. And I will place my fib in, uh, you know, after I will see where Bitcoin will stop inside this A wave right there. Right now, I'm supposing that Bitcoin will hand this C wave inside at the uh, 1.61.8, which is the ultimate target for a C wave. And if this happen, you know, I know where my tar retracement targets are and uh, I'm ready. Uh, I'm already uh, ready to, uh, you know, put some entries up there and to, uh, you know, and to, to, uh, be able to buy more and accumulate built Bitcoin. Also right now, if it's the case and I'm right inside that scenario of this ABC inside this a wave in green, this will mean that we only will only have two target available. 
Okay, this is an easy thing, a uh, very I think uh, for you to understand. But what it all what it's also telling me, if it happened, I I can simulate that scenario with my fib extension tool, and I'm going you know to I'm going to click on point zero. I'm going to click where this A wave will end. And I'm going to click where this uh, C wave will end. And what I see uh, is that those two most possible targets, especially this one, this one right here, is giving me the 0 0.618 target perfectly at 51K. And uh, it is why now, you know, it's my favorite scenario. Coincidence? No, it's mathematical. And if Bitcoin is going right now to, uh, you know, to send a wick at 41,890, I already know where it's going to, you know, end up. The most probable target will be for sure right here. And if it's going lower, we, you know, we will figure out uh, the most probable target. Let's, let's try. This will be an expanded flat or a running flat. And uh, for that, we will change our target for the C wave, flat most possible target, and it will coincide perfectly with the 0 0.382 here. And the only other possible target will be the uh, 1.618, uh, which mean uh, for me right now, those two scenario are my favorites. I know, I know that if Bitcoin is sending a wick or is close to end this A wave here at, at $41,890, that is going there inside that flat at, on this uh, fib at $0.9, $30,000 dollars and 60 yeah uh, 30,062 or uh 26,524 which is coinciding with the uh, golden fib that i just show you here and i think it is possible that they want to snap all the liquidity up there and surprise everyone uh, with a uh, who are along right now who, who think that we are ready for the moon it is possible and it's why we must be careful right now because we you don't buy before resistance you know we we are we have in front of us huge resistance up there and i provide you those resistance on my last video on the daily chart we have the moving average uh, uh, 100 on the daily chart that is right there and the two day moving average 50 that is right there as uh, and act, act like a resistance right now it is very important to uh, be careful uh, you don't buy under a resistance you uh, wait that the resistance turn into a support and when you have your confirmation you enter you can enter but usually me the best way to enter is it, it it's like here I was, my subscribers knew that that was the, the ultimate target to buy. And this was another possibility too. But I provide them exit target just before, three exit target. And this way they took profit around 30, uh, between uh, 25 and 35% profit right here. Really, really cool. But we did that with risk management. We were uh, careful, you know, we, because we, it's always good to buy on support on retracement fibs and sell before resistance fibs. This way you're, you, you lower the risk and you, you know, you, you can, you, you can invest more money uh, somewhere else. I don't know if you want to buy a second house or you, you, you just, you want to buy a, a house or an apartment, you know, in Toronto or in Nashville, uh, this is the way, <laughs> no, <laughs> anyway, 
Uh, hope this is uh, very uh, simple for you to understand. I know uh, it is not easy to know and figure out where we are, but uh, you know, at the end, uh, this retracement is an ABC or a double WXY. And anyone, my subscribers know that we have a WXY scenario that we are following, but that scenario is much more powerful. Uh, it's a scenario uh, that can uh, be uh, used in case we are uh, breaking down the golden fib and uh, that this, you know, this uh, Bitcoin cycle is over and uh, that we are entering in a new bear market, which I don't think so. And, uh, you know, and now uh, let's do that to end that video. Try to figure out this C wave. We will take the Fib extension tool. We will click on 0 0.01 time on A and on this possible target for the B wave. Let's do that right here. Okay, I'm on it. And now we will try to figure out the most probable target for a C wave inside a zigzag. It's a simulation and we, I know, but it can be, you know, fun to figure out most probable target for the C wave. And we know that we are inside a zigzag and the most probable target for me, no doubt it will be 51,083. Uh, uh, let's take the trend uh, base fib extension tool. You, one click on zero on top here, one click on the bottom of the A wave right there and the B wave, let's figure out one click there. And now we uh, want to see uh, where are the most possible scenario for a, a C wave. In that case, you know, I have to tell you 61.8 is uh, right there. Perfect. The 100% is right there. The 123 is right there. And the 1.618 is right there. Perfect. For this ABC, if we are in what we think in a way for, they will not be any more target available than this one for C and this will be the ultimate retracement of Bitcoin in the C wave before we go up. And this is why, uh, you know, I see that this C wave is going to probably happen and occur in, at the same time that uh, the, the stock market will, uh, you know, maybe crash a little because the stock market is inside, uh, you know, a very long bearish divergence. And, uh, you know, some, it, it, I don't know when, but uh, when it will happen, it can be savage. And we will be ready uh, for that year and wait if it's, you know, the B wave target is stopping right there. We will see uh, what happened and we will follow that very closely, but it's, it's very uh, nice to have an overlook and you need to understand that wave four uh, are long and can be uh, you know complex and you need to be patient and just please please don't buy before resistance wait that this resistance turn into support don't you become a big buyer when bearish divergence appear everywhere uh, right now it's an item bearish divergence but you know you you need to be careful here maybe B bitcoin will make a new eye and grab ear but it is dangerous you know we it is we are in a range right now and huge resistance right there uh we test that resistance three times and we were not able it was rejected uh, every time and we still have don't forget this. We still have to create an ABC inside this B wave. And uh, we have to go over an ABC and step by step. Now we need to find this top of A. It's going to be the first step top of A. And uh, one day we will find out where is it. 
if we see that we are breaking out and uh, you know breaking all those uh, possible resistance here we uh, have another scenario and uh, we can uh, figure out you know what will happen uh, in case that uh, bitcoin is able to break all those scenario and it is a possibility uh, that you know uh, the bitcoin will break uh, all those resistance we need to keep keep uh, that in mind if i'm erasing everything and i'm just gonna finish sorry again with this because it's a little long i know but the moving average here uh, you can see the moving average 100 is a uh, resistance for bitcoin right there and on the two day the moving average 50 is right there okay the ema ribbon now is in the chart and you can see that uh you know uh, the uh support is right under which is a, a very nice thing but i would like this ribbon to reverse because we would like to have you know this um this orders here would like the the, the yellow ribbon uh ribbons to uh, be first to support not uh the red one and this uh, can happen if you uh, are seeing this ribbon uh, starting to twist it will provide more more strength here it's still happening slowly uh in right here on the daily chart the ribbon is starting to twist but the support is at 36k i'm telling you i, I will not be surprised that first bitcoin will retest uh, retest 36k uh, and uh, we will follow that on the weekly chart uh, we're kind of starting to be over it which is uh, not bad and on the two week same let's take out the moving average with yeah we are uh, still over over the EMA ribbon on the two week and the monthly is still far away but on the daily it's starting to uh, you know uh, for sure this will uh, provide more support for bitcoin and we will uh, follow that all right uh thanks for listening guys uh thanks for supporting the channel hope you love this quick overview i love you everyone have a wonderful evening ciao